Thank you so much for joining us uh, as a part of this interview. And it's a real pleasure to be able to host you today as part of the IFM EMEA Awards taking place at Dubai's uh, JW Marriott Marquis. Uh, first off, um, I'd like to first you know, congratulate you on having won the award for the best medical insurance company. So what are your thoughts on that? Um, um, first, thanks for having me uh, and I'm happy to be here. Um, as for the award, uh, first, I'm happy because this is uh, a recognition uh, of Pupa Arabia's uh, excellence, excellent performance uh, in the market. Pupa is a company driven by its purpose and its purpose is to enable people to live longer, healthier and happier. And I think every woman and man in Buba Arabia, uh, they uh, go to the office every day to fulfill that purpose. And we have been innovating exceptional services uh, in the market that enabled us actually uh, to command the leading uh, position in the Saudi health market. And this uh, award is just a recognition to all the people who have worked hard uh, to deliver great results. Absolutely. So uh, can you uh, tell us a little bit about the CSR initiatives that B Buba Arabia has been involved in and which has eventually helped you win the recognition that has led to it tonight? Buba Arabia CSR is one of the best and the closest to our hearts, mm -hmm. all of us uh, at all levels within the company, because it actually leverages one of our core competencies, which is health insurance. We are the best health insurer in the market, and we have chosen uh, a, a significant uh, and important sizable segment of the market that are of uh, high need for health insurance and health care. Those are the orphans uh, in Saudi Arabia, the orphans under uh, the uh, supervision of the Ministry of Social Affairs. And we have started five years ago, and today we have more than 3,000 orphans in more than 14 cities uh, in, in Saudi Arabia living in almost 46 different homes. And they receive VIP coverage. They are actually our best uh, customers so they have priority when they call our call center and we treat them as VIPs equally like the CEOs of top companies uh, and, and this is part of our social responsibility uh, leveraging our core competencies uh, and giving back to the community absolutely great okay uh, and I was doing a little bit of research uh, where it showed that Alpin Capital has revealed that healthcare spend is expected to touch about 71 billion in GCC by 2020 so um, how do you think companies like yours are placed to be able to capitalize such opportunities I think the GCC and specifically, uh, specifically Saudi Arabia uh, will go under huge reforms within the healthcare space mm -hmm. uh, we have one of the highest population growth we have one of the highest uh, rate of obesity uh, and smoking, and this puts more pressure on lifestyle diseases spreading. Uh, we are a young country, however, with time, we'll be aging. So this will put even more challenges. And I think uh, Buba today works closely with all the stakeholders, and especially the government, uh, Ministry of Health, to share with them our expertise, Buba is backed up by a great know-how of the Buba Group, which operates today in more than 190 countries. Uh, and it operates a chain of hospitals and clinics from Chile in Latin America to UK to Spain to Aust uh, Australia to China to Hong Kong. Uh, so this vast experience uh, that spreads over more than 60 years, we are putting this under the disposal of, uh, disposal of our uh, stakeholders and government bodies to help them uh, look at the different options of healthcare systems. And we would like to take part of that to fulfill that uh, vision. Great. Fabulous. Um, like I said, uh, You've already admitted that you know you're one of the leading uh, companies when it comes to healthcare uh, insurance in Saudi Arabia. So, what is it that uh, makes Bupa Arabia stand out and stand apart from your contemporaries? Very simple. Bupa Arabia is uh, a specialized single-line insurer. We only have health insurance, healthcare. So, we are a healthcare company. We do nothing else. So, uh, what we do is every day we uh, innovate and we introduce uh, new services. We have been leading in the market and innovating, introducing uh, first uh, uh, services when it comes to online uh, pre-auth SMS services, and then we moved into more of the healthcare services to the members, uh, introducing coaching. All diabetic uh, or chronic patients are receiving coaching from Boba doctors. Pregnant women receiving coaching from our female uh, doctors. We provide our customers with uh, services like international second medical uh, opinion, telemedicine, uh, doctor on the phone, and the latest innovation and service. We have moved our people to the hospitals because our members go there. So we need to ensure that we have enough people there, expert people empowered enough to service uh, our customers without them needing to call 
the call center. So that's the point of care service. That's where people need you the most. Else all companies will give you the same plastic cards and you go to the same hospitals. Uh, so what differentiates people is it's a focus on the members. We map the journey of every member and ensure at every touch point we are the best. Great. Okay. Um, in fact, you, you've mentioned it right now about your offerings such as uh, doctor on the phone and telemedicine. So um, how can you say uh, this has impacted the co consumers and what do they have to say about it? What is the customer feedback like? Today we have more than 3.5 million members. Mm -hmm. They have full access to all these services uh, with their booba doctor. I mean, when they call, it's a toll-free number. They would be handled by male or female uh, doctors based on their preference. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, the telemedicine is a great service. Today, sometimes you need to uh, get consultation from a doctor outside in the States or in Europe. Uh, so you, you'll go through the trouble of uh, booking a flight, finding uh, a good hospital or a good doctor to go there. Today, we put that uh, in the palm of your hand on your uh, handheld device, uh, the iPhone or iPad or your desktop where we connect you to the leading uh, partners we have in the United States or in Europe. So you can have your consultation with a doctor without leaving your home. Uh, you could have second medical opinion uh, when it comes to complicated cases like oncology cases, cancer cases, etc., etc. Uh, you would be receiving a second medical opinion from the leading uh, healthcare uh, providers uh, worldwide. And we monitor that and we put targets on how people utilize that because we want people to utilize these services. And we have thousands of people calling and receiving these services on a monthly basis. So, uh, Mamor Mina Intelligence recently listed uh, Bupa Arabia as the third fastest growing company of GCC. So, your thoughts on this? Well, I mean, we have been experiencing exceptional growth since 2013 for two main reasons. One, because of us, and one, because of market condition. The one, uh, because of us, we have invested a lot in our healthcare services to differentiate our offering versus competition. Uh, so, that uh, brought huge value to our members. And the second factor was driven by regulators when uh, CCHI enforced uh, insurance and SAMA enforced actuarial based uh, pricing on companies. That helped the market grow. And when it grew, we were well positioned uh, with our value offering and our value proposition. Uh, so customers choose to come to us. And to put that in numbers, back in 2012, uh, our market share was around 10.5%. We closed 2016 with a share of 21.6% of the total insurance market in Saudi. If you just look at the health insurance part, today we command a share of over 42%. So almost half of the market. Uh, so we are, uh, we are a fast-growing company, uh, but we grow uh, on the right basis, uh, offering great value to our members and our customers, uh, and keep innovating uh, healthcare services that touch their lives uh, and improve their lives. Absolutely. Okay. Um, you're, in fact, uh, come, I mean, li we're digressing a little bit away from healthcare, but your company actually has a very strong representation of women, you know, in its uh, workforce. So, uh, how do you make sure this balance is maintained across across your verticals and across your companies? When we hire, we hire the right talents without really focusing on gender. Uh, so, what we want is we want to have the top talent uh, in Bubba Arabia. Uh, and we happen to tap into uh, the women uh, specifically because uh, today they want to prove themselves, they are more committed. Uh, so we wanted to create the right uh, workplace that uh, make both genders work in harmony within the company. So we had a very strong code of conduct uh, to govern the relationship between both genders uh, inside the company. Uh, and we created special uh, services that uh, focuses on women specifically. So for example, we have state-of-the-art daycare nurseries in our offices. Uh, so uh, a, a, a working mother uh, with a baby wouldn't have to worry because her baby will be well taken care of uh, at the nursery, so she get to focus uh, on her work. Uh, we have uh, fitness gyms uh, fully equipped uh, with shower rooms and towel services, uh, and we encourage them to work out. Uh, and, and be always uh, healthier. So these services, and we provide this to the males as well, so I mean they also have their games and, and, and these services. And that provided uh, basically a great atmosphere uh, for them. And today we have 34% of our talent pool uh, are women. Uh, so more than a third uh, of, of the people in Bubba Arabia are, are women, and we are very proud of them. And we uh, have a clear policy not to differentiate either in pay or in promotion or advancement between genders. Uh, and we have just recently promoted the first female director ever in Boop Arabia. 
uh, and we hope uh, in the near future we'll have the first chief uh, level uh, as a lady. Uh, and I'm very proud of all of them uh, for their contribution to the company. Great. That's amazing. That's really good to hear. In fact, uh, uh, what would you say are the most, um, uh, you know, biggest challenges that is faced by Saudi Arabia's healthcare sector? The biggest threats, mainly. I think one of the biggest issues we have uh, when it comes to healthcare in Saudi Arabia is the capacity uh, limitation, uh, because we don't have enough hospitals today uh, to cater to the needs of the growing population and the uh, growing level of different diseases. Um, and that is partially driven by regulation. Uh, today, foreign companies or foreign hospitals are not allowed uh, to operate uh, chains of clinics in Saudi Arabia. So I think there are some regulations that need to be uh, amended uh, to welcome uh, foreign investment into the healthcare uh, at different levels of care, whether primary care or secondary or tertiary care. Uh, and that will make the country uh, competitive and, and bring in the expertise and localize the expertise and services uh, inside uh, Saudi Arabia. So that's one of the challenges, which I think part of the 2030 vision of Saudi Arabia, this is something now the government is looking at and how they change uh, the regulations uh, to welcome investment within the healthcare uh, space. The second challenge is the growing level of uh, lifestyle diseases. And I think uh, much focus should be uh, put on prevention. Uh, especially when it comes to obesity and smoking, rather than just focusing on the treatment. Uh, we are a young population. With time, uh, those people will grow older and the challenges will be much, much bigger. So we need to prevent them at early stage and instead of paying uh, three and four or five times the cost yeah. when they grow older. Absolutely. And we are fully engaged uh, with them and, and how can we uh, provide them with the services that we have across the globe. Uh, how the healthcare system could work an integrated model to deliver the best outcomes uh, to the citizens of Saudi Arabia. Okay. Yeah, you mentioned uh, vision. I think vision 2030 is a major driver of, uh, you know, ideas and a lot of uh, growth-oriented plans uh, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So how does healthcare fit into this? And uh, how do you think that Vision 2030 is going to actually boost uh, the healthcare sector? I think Vision 2030 uh, uh, will reform the entire country and not just the healthcare sector. Uh, it's a very ambitious uh, vision. We are committed uh, to uh, contributing and participating in fulfilling that vision for the country because of our expertise in that field. Uh, within healthcare specifically, this is one of the most important components uh, within the 2030. Why? Because it touches everyone. Uh, every home will end up going to a hospital uh, or a clinic. Uh, so that touches every single home. I mean, it's uh, healthcare and education. Those are the most important uh, parts of the, of the equation. Uh, I think within the healthcare, uh, much work needed to be uh, done on the regulation part uh, to encourage and boost the investment. Uh, and the focus on uh, privatization. Uh, so this will bring lots of efficiencies to the current system. Um, and uh, having the MOH uh, play the role of the regulator more than uh, the dual role of a regulator and provider at the same time as it is the case uh, today. Uh, and we have been uh, working uh, with the government bodies uh, to uh, share with them the different models of health healthcare and how can we participate uh, in that ambitious vision. Uh, and finally, just to uh, wrap up this interview, uh, where, do you, where does Bupa Arabia see itself in the next five years, maybe? Bupa Arabia has a vision to be uh, the uh, largest healthcare company in the Arab world, uh, not only uh, in Saudi Arabia. Uh, and we aspire to uh, put our uh, uh, touches on the lives of, uh, of people across the Arab world, not only in the healthcare insurance, but it's also in the healthcare uh, provision in the future. Uh, if the regulation changes, we would uh, like to invest in setting up uh, primary care uh, clinics uh, and secondary care hospitals uh, in the future. Uh, why? Because we have that experience within the group of WUPA, uh, where today uh, it manages more than 17 hospitals and more than 500 uh, 60 uh, clinics uh, across, the, across the world and we would like to bring that investment and expertise to Saudi Arabia first and to the Arab world second. Great. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. It was an abs absolute pleasure having you here today. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.